Hello Year 7s, my name is Mr Water. Um, what you're going to be doing in Year 7 ICT this term is pretty amazing. We were using a program called eToys. eToys is where you're actually going to do your first bit of real programming here in the technology department at Genesis Christian College. Now, eToys is a free program. Uh, it can be downloaded on any, pro, um, any type of computer, whether it be Macintosh, or whether it be PC, you're lucky. You've got your laptops here at school uh, that you can or that you take home. It has it there, so there's no real need to download it. When you open up eToys for the first time, you are presented with what's called the world. Okay, where you can look at making a project, gallery of projects, and demos and tutorials. Today we're going to make a project. So if you click on make a project, now this is your project palette board. If we have a look up here, this is our supplies. We're going to be using this a lot more in a few exercises time. You can toggle that on and off by clicking on it left and right. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a little car. And we're going to end up driving that around with a steering wheel. So we're going to make a painting by clicking on the palette. And there it appears there. So. You've got a paintbrush, you've got a bucket, you've got an eraser, you've got an eyedropper. You've got six different types of paintbrush heads. Each one, you can see how small that one is, to the large one up here, which is quite large. You've got your colour palette, and here is an undo button, a keep button, and you only click that when you're finished with the actual diagram itself. If you want to start all over again, you can clear or toss it out. Now, so we're going to draw a little vehicle. I'm going to make mine blue. I'm going to use the, the middle one, the middle size here. It's just going to be a quick rectangle. It's not going to be the most sporty looking vehicle known to mankind. But there it is. I'm going to have some black tyres. So I'm going to click on black. Little tyres at the front. Tires out the back. A few extra little designs. I'm going to go to my finer paintbrush. I'm going to just do a bit of outlining work here because I'm an artist. Mrs. Draper would be shocked at this artwork. Putting a spoiler on the back of the car to make it look really quick. A little spoiler on the front. Anytime that you're unhappy with something, you can then, as I said before, click on the undo and it takes it back off and you can start again. So there's my vehicle. I'm happy with it. I'm going to click on key. There's my vehicle. Now I can move it wherever I want. Now, so I'm just going to put mine here. Right mouse click now on your vehicle and you're given a whole series of information toggles. We're interested in this one that has the little eye, open a viewer for me. I click on that. You'll see all through here, these are called tiles. Now this sketch that we did here first, our car, has just been called Sketch. I want to rename that, so I'm going to click into it. It'll turn red, and I'm going to call it Car. And then press Enter. So now my sketch is called Car. And you'll note that all of these words now, which were worse Sketch, is now called Car. You notice that there are three of these tiles that actually have exclamation mark. They're called Action Tiles. Click on them. Hold them down and they'll do exactly what you've asked it to do. Now, so they're action tiles and these are just plain scripting tiles that we've got here to deal with. Note these ones here are the X and Y. Think mathematics on this one. X and Y on a graph. If I was to move up and down in a straight line, if I could do that with my mouse there, you see, the one that is moving the most is our Y value. If 
I was moving from left to right or right to left, it's my X value that's going to be changing quite dramatically there, just like on a graph. Y runs up and down, X runs from left to right. Now, so that's pretty boring though by having to click on those. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a script for the particular car. So if I click and drag the one that says car forward by five. I now am attributing this particular script to the vehicle. If you see off here, you'll see a little timer or a little clock. If I click and hold that and then pause it, click by clicking it again, right, it runs that particular script. It's telling it to move by five. What does a five mean? Five pixels. Right? Very, very small. So if I wanted to go down, moving it by one pixel at a time, and then click on my clock again, you'll see that my car is moving quite slowly. I'm just going to pause that now. I'm going to grab the one, the, the action script that says turn car by five. I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to have it underneath the one that says car forward by one. Now I'm going to run it again and let's see what happens here. Now the car is basically turning around on the circle. So if I was to increase the forward number, you'll see that my circle is now getting larger and larger. But if I was to decrease this to maybe a negative number, the car is now driving in reverse. I'm just going to click a pause there. So this script, the car script, is all relating to my vehicle here. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to draw a steering wheel that's going to control our vehicle. So clicking on our Make a Painting, we now have a blank canvas. Again, we've got our paintbrush, our paint bucket, eyedropper and eraser. Now I want to draw a steering wheel, nothing too flash, just roughly something circular. Keep that, make that a keeper. Now, I want to get up the information about the steering wheel, so I right mouse click on that. Now, if you if we have a look at the viewer, it's called Sketch One. Now, I want to change that and I want to call that Steering. So, I've got my steering. Right mouse clicking on my steering wheel again, you'll see this thing called Rotate. If I click and drag the Rotate, you can see my steering's heading. This part here is changing. Now, what we're wanting to do is I want to grab this steering's heading and I want to bring it and I want to hover it over the five, the car turn by five. I don't want to bring it right over the car turn, over the, I just want it over the 5. Now, watching our vehicle now, I'm going to take it off a pause, I'm going to right mouse click on my steering wheel. You can see, I can now drive my vehicle. drive around. If you're finding that the vehicle is going too quick for you, slow it down, unpause it.
pause that there. Now, at the moment, we have not saved our car or saved this particular project that we've got. I'm just going to change it from unnamed and I'm going to call it cars and we're going to now publish it. Now the icon up here to publish is here, the right one, which means it's going into the folder, it means we're saving it. So the project name, we're going to call it cars, description, driving a car with a steering wheel, author, your name, We've just completed our very first eToys project where we can have this running. We get rid of this particular part here 